feedback. This is the first song we ever recorded. It's our first single. It's a party anthem. It's a real kind of a upbeat. Let's all get drunk. So if you haven't got a beer yet, grab one because we're into them. Killer riff too, straight off, just banging. There's the lyrics and the, the meaning behind this song. Me and Jared went to high school together and we were the guys in the, in the music room at our lunch times, you know, riffing and rocking out. And, and you know, over the years, your mates, they grow up, they get, they get married, they buy a house. And we're, we're the last two left, everyone else is, is doing something else, so one by one they all fall and what do you do, you just you start a band and you, you keep trying and, and doing the rock and roll thing, that's all we've really got. And we'll never stop. We can't stop, we can't do anything else. This is actually the first song we recorded with Ricky Ray, it was before the rest of the album, we went in and that was our first taste of Light Hill Studios. Ricky got us straight away. He knew exactly, once we played him the song, he just turned up the faders, turned up the amps, and, and let us play as fast and as loud as we wanted to. I think that really comes across in this song. It's real high energy, and it's just wild. You, you can't contain us. We're just, we're just playing full throttle rock and roll the whole way through. And uh, this was probably the obvious choice for the first single, you know, off the album, because it's just... It sort of just sums up what we're all about, you know, just hard rocking, big screaming vocals, crazy solos, and it's just full of energy, so um, it was definitely the, the obvious choice for the first single. It's another crazy Laguna solo here, just absolutely ripping it on this one. It's real kind of basic chords underneath and real just driving drums, and let's Ben just go wild, he can do whatever he wants over this. I think you kind of need this little breakdown bit to just mm, catch your breath. A bit, a bit of composure just to say, fuck, what are we just listening to? I think we need it personally to, on stage just to catch our breath. And this is usually the part in the live show where uh, we sort of break it down a bit and um, Brad will usually, you know, climb up whatever he can find onto the roof of the venue or up onto the rafters or on the PA system and jump off and uh, hurt himself. and. But, uh, all of the name for rock and roll. Yeah, right? people love it, you know, it's a good, it's a good time. <laughs> Fuck it, I'm in another beer. That was one by one. Rockin'. Rockin'. Rock and roll. I don't think we should do British accents. Oh, we can chop it. It's Pro Tools. Again. Pro Tools. Like if we're not doing this to tape, <laughs> isn't that, it'll be just stuck on there. The the powers of recording in the uh, 21st century, eh? We have to cut it with scissors. I can say anything I want here and you'll never hear it. What if we forget to cut it out, though? Oh. That'd be shit. It would be shit. We should make sure we cut it out. That's a take. 